In this video, we'll talk about how to find the charge of ions on the periodic table. So there's a regular pattern, and this is really useful to remember in chemistry for formula and naming of compounds, net ionic equations. Many things rely on you quickly being able to figure out the charge on ions here from the periodic table. So here's the pattern. In group one, these are one plus. That means all of these will have an ionic charge of one plus when they form ions or bond with other compounds. Group two, two plus. We skip all of these. These are the transition metals here. And we skip those because they can have variable charges. We come over here to group 13, sometimes called 3A, 3 plus. And then for carbon, it's often considered to be 4 plus or 4 minus. Then we go down. 3 minus for nitrogen, that's group 15. We go 2 minus, 1 minus, and then the noble gases is 0. So you see the pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4 plus or minus, then 3 minus, 2 minus, 1 minus, 0. You can kind of think of it this way. Group 1 is 1 plus, we go 2 plus, skip the transition metals, 3 plus, 4 plus or minus, 3 minus, 2 minus, 1 minus, 0. It's kind of like a mountain there. That's the trend for ionic charge. But this is a general trend. Let's look at a little more detailed periodic table with ionic charge listed. So these are the specific ionic charges on the periodic table that you can expect. All of these in group 1 are 1 plus. They form 1 plus ions. Group 2, 2 plus. We skip the transition metals. And there are also a number of elements over here that have variable charges. So we go 3 plus for the aluminum here and the gallium. We don't consider any of these really to have ionic charge. 3 minus, 2 minus, 1 minus, and 0. You'll note that zinc should be 2 plus and cadmium will be 2 plus always. And then silver will always be 1 plus. And you can see a mistake here. When we write ionic charge, it's always the number and then the sign. So this should be 2 plus and this should be 1 plus. So this table here is a little more detailed, and you get the idea that a lot of the elements we don't really know the ionic charges for. But these are the ones that we use quite a bit in chemistry. We also have ions that aren't listed on the periodic table. They're made up of more than one type of atom. These are called polyatomic ions, like NH4 plus or SO4 2 minus. Your teacher often will let you use this table on a test, but some teachers do want you to memorize it, so check with your instructor. So in addition to the ions on the periodic table, we have these polyatomic ions, which probably aren't a bad idea to memorize some of the major ones. This is Dr. B with how to figure out the charge of ions on the periodic table, and thanks for watching.